Chase Lee Hockey here with the Bull Futon, and we're going to do the box office predictions from 26 August to 28 August. And let's just say I'm a happy camper for what happened last week, and because I told you. So this weekend, technically we were supposed to have four wide releases. Unfortunately, one decided to go to Amazon Prime, aka Samaritan, the uh, Sylvester Stallone movie. So unfortunately, you will not be able to see that in theaters, but you can watch it on Amazon Prime if you have it. But there are three wide releases, or wide releases according to Box Office Mojo, and they are 3,000 Years of Longing, Breaking, which at Sundance was called 892, which 892 is the zip code. Of where this is taken. Sorry, area code, zip code's five letters, as well as the invitation, which is a PG 13 vampire movie. So, when we're going through those three, I've seen Breaking. I think I reviewed it in January or February earlier this year. So, if you want to see my review of it, it's going to be called 892, but I think I did change into Breaking. I think it's a solid movie and some strong images in this movie. However, I don't think it's going to make a lot of money. I think it's Breaker Street that has it. I'm going to go about two to three million for that one. And the same two to three million for three thousand years of longing. I heard it's an okay movie. Some people love it, and some people are just like, "What the fuck is this type of movie?" It's George Miller who did Happy Feet as well as uh, Mad Max. So yeah, his filmography is bonkers. And then we have The Invitation, which is a vampire PG thirteen movie, which does feel like it's taking the Get Out route and making it into a vampire esque thing with the race and everything like that. But that's just me taking a guess. So let's see how I did last weekend. And oh my gosh, I'm shocked that more people didn't think that this was going to happen. All right, number five was DC League of Super Pets. I was going with 5 million. It was actually 5.7. This range, I wanted to be about 0.5 off. And I wasn't. I was 0.7 off. Damn it. Number four was Top Gun. I was going 5.7. It was actually 5.9. I will take it. I am in that range. Number three was Bullet Train. I was thinking seven million. It actually did better than I thought. It did eight million. So I'm a million off. Not what I was expecting. Beast, not good for me. I was thinking seven point five. That was me before watching the movie. After watching the movie, I think I would have at least gone up to ten million. But it actually did eleven point five. Now I probably should have done a little bit more research. Look at Crawl. Crawl did about twelve point two, and Beast did eleven point five. Both R-rated movies. So. I should have done a little bit more research on that level. And of course, number one was Dragon Ball Super Superhero with 20.1. I was going 21.1, so I was only a million off. I would take it. I'm shocked with like Variety, The Wrap, Box Office Mojo. When this came out, they're like, shocker, Dragon Ball Z is number one. John Campia, this doesn't make sense. How the fuck does this not make sense? Did people not pay attention to how Demon Slayer did this week? How Juju Katsu did this year both those animes open up to like 14 to 17 million and those are not the best or i want to say popular anime people that don't know anime know dragon ball z know jojo they know those type of stuff i'm not the biggest anime person but i'm shocked where people are like oh dragon ball z ain't gonna do good in the box office are you fucking high however it's gonna drop pretty strong in the second weekend in my opinion so let's see what i think this next weekend is gonna be and this weekend, I'll be surprised if anyone gets the top five right. All right, for me, my number five is going to be Bullet Train with 4.8 million. I'm going with a roughly another 40% drop with this one. With no new movies really coming out except 3,000 Years, Breaking, and Invitation, I don't see that taking anything from Bullet Train. So that's why I'm going with 4.8. Number four, I'm keeping with Top Gun. It is statistically factually only dropping like 18 to 16 percent every weekend why would it change the imax release this week is going to be rogue a star wars story what so i put money down what that's going to happen on friday they're going to be like nope let's put some top gun back in imax so that's why i'm going with five million for that one number three i'm going with beast 5.9 million i checked what crawl did crawl dropped about 49 percent that's why I'm going about the same with Beast. That's why I'm going about 5.9 for Beast. Number two 
I am going Dragon Ball Super Superhero. I'm guessing a 70-ish percent drop. I was going to go more 80, but I'll get Juju, not JoJo, Juju, and that dropped about 69.1%. So I'll go 70% with Dragon Ball Z, because I do think everyone that saw it saw it first weekend. I'm going 5.2. So with that, from number 2 to number 5, in my opinion, it's only going to be about a 1.2 million difference for every single one. So that's why 2 through 4, or sorry, 2 through 5, in my opinion, could be bonkers. But also number 1 could be bonkers because I'm going with Invitation. When was there a last time there was a PG-13 horror movie? Hasn't been in quite some time. However, though, there isn't a lot of buzz for this one. And I'm looking at Uma. Even though Uma did a lot less theaters that only did like $3 million, I'm going Invitation's doing $10 million. So I'm going some very... Very low box office weekend this weekend. So let's do a recap of the top five. Number five is going to be Bullet Train with 4.8. Number four is going to be Top Gun Maverick with 5 million. Number three is going to be Beast with 5.9. Number two is going to be Dragon Ball Super Superhero with 6.2. And number one is going to be Imitation with 10 million. On Gold Derby, it has Breaking being number one. I'm sorry, I don't see that. I know they're thinking, oh, uh, Michael K. Williams, uh, this is his last movie. So people might see it. But the problem is breaking the trailer. It's nowhere to be seen. I'm sorry. It's not going to be number one. I'll put $100 down. Peace out with the Blue Food. Tell like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think is Utopia. You boof Tonyans. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And seriously, guys. I think next weekend is like Honk to Save Jesus. And that's the only release. And after that is that Barbarian movie. Which is a weird R-rated like Scarsgard movie. Then after that, I think it's Don't Worry Darling. So this next month of September also, fuck. This is a bad two months for movies in the theaters.